Good morning, you beautiful people. All of you. Except for you. You know who you are. <laughs> All right, let's get going. So, uh, we slept at the Petro Pass and we wandered down the street to Flying J where we just grabbed some fuel and a shower. And now we are going to make our way home. We won't be home tonight yet. We'll be home tomorrow. We're gonna take it easy. But the good news is that we have a powerful wind coming out of the west, pushing us east. So that good old fuel economy I keep talking about is gonna be my friend today. At least it better be. I don't like it when it gets mad at me. This is the Medicine Hat Flying J in Alberta, Canada. Time to get out there. It has been such a great day to be a truck driver. I got a strong wind pushing me east still. Been using hardly any fuel. I've almost been floating eastward. Just pulling into Moose Jaw here right now. We're gonna go to the gym. Look at that sky though. Look how blue that is. So refreshing. You know, when you live up north, or in, well, I guess this is southern Canada, but in northern hemisphere, when you live up where it's so cold in the wintertime, you really appreciate warm weather a lot more, I think. <laughs> My gym is just up here to the right. And it is Good Friday today. Meters. Turn left on Thatcher Drive. It's Good Friday when I'm filming this. But I'm assuming the gym would still be open on Good Friday, right? It's should be. Looks like there's people there. Let's see if I can get in here. Now, last time I was here, there's still a lot of snow. This lot, oh, that was a big pothole. This lot is very different summertime look at these posts right there in front of the truck just cement posts just sticking up in the middle of the lot glad I never hit that in the winter time I would have never known that was there yikes wow this is bad they really need to uh, update their lot yikes wow oh well, I think I got a pretty good workout in. You have a good nap, Chevy? We need to continue down the road. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I gotta close the vents in the back. Oh. <laughs> My arms are tired. Alright. Okay. Oh, let's continue, see how far we can get today. We have another eight and a half hours available to us to drive. Whew, and we can do that within the next 10 hours. So we still got a long time. We have 671 kilometers left. So who knows, we might even get all the way home to the yard anyways. I mean, I would be home after midnight. I'd probably get home at like four in the morning. So I won't go home tonight and interrupt Britt's sleep. I'll go probably sleep at our yard and then just go home in the morning. Maybe I'll go to Brandon. I don't know. We'll see. I got options. Okay. Let's get out of here. So I feel a lot better again, like usual. I haven't been to the gym since uh, we were there in Mauston, Wisconsin. That was last Saturday, right? When we last went? Yeah, because Sunday we went from Mauston down to uh, Rochelle, Illinois. And we came out this way. I haven't been to a gym since. That felt really good. I'll probably stop in Steinbeck again on the way home. Go right past Snap Fitness. Kilometers on Highway 1 East. My workout I can get into 45 minutes now. If I take my time, it takes I can take an hour to an hour and a half, or I could double the workout and do it twice. But if I just go in there for one, just a simple routine, uh, 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not too hardcore. Balgoni baloney. Baloney is what I think of these roundabouts. Let's tell you what, baloney. Okay. 
right, here we go. We made it, we made it. We survived the roundabout. Barely, but we're still breathing. We're from Balgoni, Saskatchewan, east of Regina. Got another 600 kilometers to go. I guess that would make that, what, 260 miles or so? Now we got seven hours and 19 minutes to do it in. We'll see how far we go. I don't have to go all the way tonight because I'm not going home tonight anyways. That'll be way too late. Like I was explaining before, uh, Britt's going to be long sleeping by that time. I don't want to come in and get the dogs all excited and bouncing off the walls when I get home at 4 in the morning. Totally interrupt her sleep and ruin her sleep. So I'll just sleep in the truck and go home tomorrow, probably about midday. So yeah, I'm not grabbing fuel here, I'm actually just grabbing food. I got no food in the truck and I don't want to stock up groceries if I'm going home for a couple of days. I'll do that after I leave again. So I'm going in here for some chicken wings. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be great. I know your mouth just started watering, right? Some delicious, delicious chicken wings. Just think about it. Why are people parked everywhere but a parking spot here? Look at this. Nice, you got this guy taking up one, two, three, four, five, six spots off to the right here. Why are you parked like that? There's lines painted. And they got all these guys off on the left, too lazy to back into a parking spot, so they just park along the curb. I can't really judge them because I do that sometimes, but not when there's this many open parking spots. Come on. <laughs> Oh, my. oh, you know, in, in the U.S., when you travel down there, you notice down there, people park more respectfully. I noticed that in Canada, in general, not everybody, but in general, people in Canada do not park properly. They don't park in the lines. They don't park straight. They don't even care about straightening out. They just pull in and everything's all crooked, pull the brakes and go to bed. Now, it happens in the U.S. too, but not nearly as often as... Uh, what you would see in Canada. It's people here just need to take a little bit more effort into parking, but maybe that's just me. I'm I'm like that. <laughs> Though the irony is not lost on me that I'm not even parked in a parking spot. I just pull up in front of the pumps. When I'm going in just to grab something really quick, like just a quick bite to eat and a coffee, and there's not really much action going on at the pumps, yeah, I'll, I'll just park at the pumps. Not in the pumps, in front of the pumps. So if someone, if it all of a sudden gets busy, that someone can come in behind me and start fueling. But if I'm only gonna be in there for five minutes or less, sure, I'll park in front of you. But if I'm gonna go in there and sit down and eat or have a shower or take my time, yes, I'll park in a parking spot then. And I would encourage you to also, don't abuse this parking area in front of the pumps here, otherwise they won't let us do that anymore. No taking your half hour break here. all the way out here in beautiful Brandon. I'm pretty sure that's what the slogan is, beautiful Brandon. I'm just kidding. It is a nice city though. I don't know much about it. We don't actually pass through the city, so I've never really been in Brandon. We just passed by it. Brandon is just off to our right here. We're gonna point our nose towards it in a second. We're pulling into the Husky SO truck stop. We're gonna spend the night here. I think we've gone far enough. I could go further, but I think we've gone far enough. We can do the rest tomorrow. Got another two and a half hours tomorrow. Gotta leave something to do then, otherwise we've got nothing to do tomorrow. Right? So Brandon is straight ahead of us now, probably a couple of miles or so, but there's the city reaches all the way out to here. We're just sort of on the outskirts. All right, let's get in here. Find ourselves a parking spot and uh, hit the sack. I'm actually pretty tired, I'm looking forward to this. Good morning, and I know it's a little bit late, but happy Easter weekend. I got a muffin, it's gonna be great. Actually, this is one of those muffins that's packaged in plastic, so it's actually going to destroy me from the inside out, but it's going to taste good. And it's all they had that I could quickly grab for breakfast. I'm in Brandon, Manitoba here right now. I'll give you a quick look around. I'm at the back of the truck stop here. Special shout out to Gary who met me inside, shook my hand, said hello. Great guy, he's been watching my videos for a while and uh, recognized me in the store there. So thanks Gary for a nice conversation. It's always nice meeting other great drivers out there. He's a really good guy by the, looks, by the sounds of it. Someone I'd hang out with. So, Easter weekend. 
it's Saturday today. We gotta get home. We got. I don't know if tonight's an Easter gathering or not, but Britt's dad is coming down tonight. We'll just call it an Easter gathering, but we'll probably just hang out. And then tomorrow we got an Easter gathering in the city. And then Monday I gotta deliver this load into the city, and then we gotta try to get moving again. I don't have a reload yet because freight is slow right now, apparently. That's a new one. But out of Winnipeg sometimes, like, sometimes it's hard to get going out of Winnipeg. It's, it's not... There's a lot of truck drivers in Winnipeg. It's sort of like the truck driver central of Western Canada, that along with Calgary and lots of truck drivers here. And uh, all the big, big companies, uh, they like to gobble up all the freight really quickly. So sometimes we're left with the scraps just to get going. And then we get better loads elsewhere to keep going once we're, once we're moving. The problem is getting the, the wheels turning. All right, Chevy, sit down, buddy. You want to go home? You want to go home? You want to go see mom? You want to go see Diesel? You want to go see Frankie? Yeah? Well, come, come, come here, come here. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay. We got to clean your eyes out. I can't let your mom see you like this. She will. Uh, okay. She'll give me that. What? Look. Hey, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, I got to clean you up. We got to make you look good. Otherwise, your mom's going to be mad when we bring you home all dirty. There you go. Okay. Are you ready to go home? Run around at home? Hey, should we go home? Oh, oh, I think. Oh, is that a yes? Is that a, are you excited? Should we stay in the truck another week? Yeah. No? No, we should go home, shouldn't we? <laughs> you want to go run around with Diesel? Okay. What I need you to do is sit. <laughs> and I need to shake your paw. Shake a paw. Nice to meet you. All right, I need to shake your other paw. Other paw? No, I already shook that paw. Other paw. I don't even know if this is on the camera or not. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let's get going. All right, I'll just give a quick little uh, tug test on my trailer to triple check that my trailer is still attached and is not going to embarrass me and fall off. It's never happened to me yet, but that's because I always make triple, double, quadruple sure. All right. You never know. You never know. Let's get on the highway. Whoa, 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 whoa. When you test, or when you give yourself a tug test like that in the morning, it also tests your trailer brakes that they're working and uh, that they're releasing as well, right? Because yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? No, I think it was yesterday, right? I did my. I did my tug test. No, man, you're going to go this way. I'm talking here. I did my tug test uh, halfway through my day, and sometimes throughout my day, there must have been a crack that formed in my my airline, my blue airline, which is my brake line, which controls the brakes of the trailer. And uh, when I did my tug test, I could hear air rushing out somewhere that I had a that I had a bad air leak. So I went and found it. It turned out it had ripped just behind my glad hand and I had just gotten the parts that I needed to fix that recently. So I was able to fix that. And because I did my tug test when it wasn't necessary, that's how I realized halfway through my day that, hey, I had an air leak that wasn't there when I did my pre-trip. It's always nice just to check your truck throughout the day, not just at the beginning of your day, because anything can happen. I guess I took a corner and it must've gotten hooked on something on my headache rack and uh, ripped a little hole in it. So my trailer brakes were only like half as effective as they should be. And it's a good thing I caught that before a DOT officer caught that. Cause they'll give you a ticket. They don't care if you check the truck in the morning, they'll just give you a ticket. Oh, headingly gonna fuel up the tanks so that they're full for whenever I leave on my next trip. I'm gonna worry about it then. May as well fuel up now. Hold oh, this guy's just ripping out of the parking lot here. Look at this guy. Canadian NASCAR. There you go. See, you didn't have to slam on your brakes so hard if you wouldn't have been just ripping it so hard. Oof, guys like that are so hard on their equipment. And then they complain when it breaks down. Well, no kidding. I'd break down too if I was your truck. It's like those people you hear at the fuel pumps or whenever they start their trucks and they try to put it in gear and their clutch brake is obviously needing replacing. And you just hear them just trying to get their truck into first gear is, oh man. 
No DEF, sorry for inconvenience. Well, that is inconvenience and I accept your apology. I don't need it anyway. It says it right there on the pump. Way back there, no DEF. Huh. Well, at least they let us know before we try. The yard was just packed. All the drivers are home for Easter weekend. It's always Easter weekend and Christmas. Almost everybody gets home. So the yard is always just packed at those two seasons. But I did find a spot to park the trailer, so that's good. I'm really looking forward to getting home. All the snow, most of them, just a few little snow piles are left from our snow hills, but the weather is finally good. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description.